Hello, I am the um, Prime Minister of our group. Our island is called Macrae Island. Um, our previous name was before it was New Britain, but we actually found out that already existed. Um, as you can see, our country is an island, and there are many be benefits of being an island, which are trades and tourism. We have many airports, as you can see there and there, um, and harbours, because of all the trade. The land is fairly flat until you reach the mountainous like area on the east. We have lots of tourist attractions, including beaches, like trips to the volcano, and our culture's proud history and culture. And, and we've had many wars, wars. There are five large, five large cities um, on the east side because it's flatter there, and you can't build on mountains. And there's one, one main road around the island um, which connects the main cities. Um, and there's some pictures about the like, country and cities. And I'll hand you over to physical geography. Um, so, my job was to do physical geography, and my first task was to, discuss, um, was to decide what shape of the island it would be, <coughs> whether it would be an island, landlocked coastline or bordered. I decided that we would have a island and that it has a because it has coast line all the way around it so it's good for trade and which means it would have quite a few beaches which is good for tourism which will um, boost our economy. Uh, as you can see in our island uh, in the top we have two big coves and that will be where our like, main harbours are for trade. Um, and this is why we made the coves in the island that shape. Uh, my next task would be where the mountains were and where the flat land would be. I chose the mountains to be in the kind of northeast of the island, which leaves the rest of the islands for settlements, cities, factories, and tourism attractions and accommodation. Also, along with the mountains, we have an inactive volcano, um, which is all so a good tourist attraction, um, which brings more money in as we could have a chairlift going up to it, um, which will help the economy. On higher ground we'll have windmills and cliffs, which will generate hydropower. Um, my third task was to decide where to put the water on the island, like things like lakes and rivers. I chose to put a lot of, ri of the um, rivers and lakes and streams in the mountain areas. I've chosen to put it like this because it would be very hard for the towns and cities to flood. Also, we could have lots of hydropower stations out of the way in the mountains. And the climate that we have is uh, like the Caribbean. Says our island is located in the Caribbean, which means we have hot weather most of the time, which helps attack tourists and not that much rain. So it'd be good for having attractions open and stuff. Um, and my final task was to see what natu um, natural hazards we would have. Uh, we already have an inactive volcano, like the one in Tenerife. Um, and also we have a of flooding, because most of our rivers are in the, island, um, in the mountains, which means it is hard for towns to flood. But if it is, it is unlikely that it, the towns would flood, but if they do, you do have fences to block anything that would happen. And who's next? See. Sure. Okay. Um, so yeah, I had to do human geography. I'm going to be talking about the name of our country, different cities, where people live, farming areas, transportation, and our flag. As you can see, this is our flag. We chose this flag because we was going to be called New Britain. So yeah, it was going to be showing the Commonwealth. And we also have the five stars, because there's five different main jobs. So yeah, one for each of us. Um, so the name we was, as a group, we thought of a name that we could call it. Uh, there was New England, Macrae Island, Pretoria, <laughs> and New Britain. In the end, uh, New Britain did win. And then we found out it was actually a real country, so we changed it to Macrae Island. Um, yeah, uh, 
five cities. We named them Vitoria, Tval, Tuba, Starden, Cooper, and Glaston. Uh, we called them these because we just agreed as a group that that's what they should be called. Um, Pretoria is our capital city and it's an urban area. Tval is rural, Tuba is urban, Starden is rural, Cooper is rural, and Glaston is urban. Uh, population. We have all kinds of people in our country. Um, uh, there's roughly six million in our island country. Uh, and transportation, which is this life. We have things like trains, subway, cars, buses, airports and boats. And yeah, that's it. Um, my job was economy and um, I planned business and industries. Um, so I started with the first one which is things like farming and mining and we chose most animals that live on farms, like cows, sheep, horses, pigs and chickens. And I asked everyone what vegetables and fruit they wanted and we came up with apples, pears, strawberries, carrots, corn, potatoes and plums. And we'd have like a different section um, in T-Val for each farm. And then um, we just... I decided to have um, coal and copper and that's it. Uh, coal, copper and bronze mining in the mountains and at the coves there would be um, fish farms. Then we decided for the second industry um, to have this, a few steel factories so we could build things that we needed, um, transport factories and food processing, processing factories and in Pretoria, as well as toy factories. And they would be in Pretoria to get to the supermarkets as soon as possible. Um, for the third lot of industries, I chose to have um, one major sh um, company for shops so that then there wouldn't be any competition. I did the same with banking, insurance, and um, other supermarkets and restaurants. And then there would be um, water parks and adventure parks um, everywhere else, but in Tuba and Stardom. Um, and then for the fourth lot, we would have uh, weapon research and manufacturing in Cooper. And there would be a technology center at Stardom there would be a drug research centre at Tuba and we decided on using solar and hydroelectric energy. Uh, I'm in charge of the cultural <coughs> industry. Um, my first job was to uh, decide our religion. Uh, um, so we decided there was no real main religion as we're mainly atheists. But um, the biggest religion, which is still a minority, is uh, Christianity, because of our, our history. Um, it is a democracy, and is a uh, has a parliamentary parliamentary system. So we have uh, a prime minister as our leader. Um, and there are three major parties. One's a conservative party. One uh, it promotes equality and stands up for the hardworking people, and one is a Green Party who wants to uh, preserve the nature on our island and sell any eco-friendly power to other countries. Uh, our main ally is Great Britain because uh, of our past country. But the main enemies are North Korea and Argentina. Um, now for immigration. Uh, Anyone is allowed to come to the country as long as they don't have a criminal record. 
And um, if you're a citizen of a country we are at war with, you're not allowed to go into the country during the war. And um, if you want to move to our country, you have to um, be fully qualified and you have to work in a job for at least a year and a half to be able to complain to be able to claim any sort of benefits. Uh, if you commit a small crime, like stealing or vandalising, you'll be uh, uh, put in jail for the uh, amount of time you have to serve, and then you'll be deported back to your own country. But if you commit something like murder, uh, you'll be jailed, and uh, if you only serve the minimum um, service time, you'll have to be uh, deported back to your country, and you may be asked to so the rest of your time there. Um, this is uh, the history. So in 690, first people arrived, and uh, there were some wars <coughs> for the, uh, um, the ship of the island, and eventually, um, in 1314, the last recorded eruption of the volcano happened. And uh, in 1715, pirates uh, lands on the island, and that's the first outside contact. But in the 1719, the British helped get rid of the pirates, so we become allies. And um, in 1818, we become part of the British Empire, and we fought in World War II and World War I. And in 1956, we got independence. Uh, the last part and the hardest part was uh, making the national anthem. Um, so it's like this. Uh, take me to uh, the land. Take me to the great island of mine. Uh, I don't want to be anywhere but this beautiful island of mine. That's the best of us. That's it. Good. Well done, Lisa. Thank you.